All right, so I'm just doing a little experimentation here. I'm going into the, this is the main page. I'm going to go into special functions. And if I look at ECU configurations, and if I click on America and Ford, and I can do automatic finds my 2012 Mustang. If I look at programmable parameter, there's a few interesting things you can do here. You can, uh, like on the tire pressure monitoring system, front tire signage pressure, rear tire signage indicating pressure. And it tells me to switch the switch, the ignition on, which it's on now. You can check the factory setting for when the tire pressure indicator light will come on. And I'll show you in a minute. Click the reset button automatically to modify. Otherwise, click return. Okay. So what it's showing is 30 to 30, 30 to 50 PSI. And it's showing the current state is 32 PSI. And of course my cursor position, I just hit the touch screen there. I can move that to somewhere else to make the cursor position here. And if I wanted the light not to be uh, triggered by air pressure around 32 PSI, what if I wanted to run them higher? you can put a cursor position say say 36 psi that was my target let's pretend and i can hit the reset button and that will cause the actually i'll do it for you 36 psi i'll hit the reset button and now it's going to say switch ignition off so i did now it says switch it on which i just did function executed complete it completely and i'm expecting the current state to jump down to 36. And there it is, right? So now my front tires can run a higher pressure. I generally stick to whatever the manufacturer says. I suppose if you were drag racing or something, you'd probably reduce the air pressure in the rear, but I don't fool around with that stuff. So what I'm going to do is put it back to the factory setting. But yeah, that's a neat thing. If you want to run higher pressure for some reason, it actually goes down to 30. So current state, yeah, it goes down to 30. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't go a bit lower. I mean, if someone was drag racing, they might want it lower, but it might be a limitation of the actual sensors in the tire too. So that's kind of a neat thing. So that's the end of this video. Good luck with your do-it-yourself projects. If you want to learn more about this scanner and other scanners that I'll be testing with, please subscribe to my channel.